Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. So I just finished with live session about 10 minutes ago. Live session. What a disaster, okay. So I forgot to put, uh, this is called Fimo Book Coffee Grinder. Uh, this is the grinder, kind of like shoot cover there. So you always make a big mess. I have to stop, okay. I had to stop the live session, but I'm back. Uh, I'm going to be making some coffee with the Fimo book from Easy Presso. Okay. So this is, uh, again, a brand new grinder from Easy Presso. If you're people from uh, Easy Press watching this video, let me know how you come up with that name. Okay. Fimo book. I have no idea. Uh, anyway, so they're going to launch uh, in uh, November, uh, Taipei. I believe a uh, uh, Taipei Coffee Festival, I think. Okay, hold on. Uh, I, I'm looking at their uh, email I got from them last night. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be on the Taipei Coffee Show. Okay, so if you guys are around in Taipei next month, make sure to stop by say hello to the Easy Press uh, Easy Press booth. Okay, so uh, I think I show you guys are already, but if you are just joining us. Just, uh, just watching for the first time. Man, this grinder is pretty impressive, I have to say. Uh, everything is all, all well built. Love the build quality. I know you guys heard that in my channel a lot about the build quality is uh, fantastic. Hopefully, I get you guys a little closer. And everything is all magnetic. Uh, you can actually disassemble by in removing the parts. Okay, uh, it's pretty cool there. Oh, you can all removable bottom uh, comes out and the easy cleaning and this is uh, again the 68 millimeter conical let me flip the camera for a sec there we go as you can see that's 68 millimeter conical that is a massive okay massive uh, size uh, let's put that in perspective uh, the one of our favorite conical bird a grinder the niche is a 63 mother, okay? The mother birds. Uh, so this is a 68. Uh, obviously, this is made by Easy Presso. The bird drama tricks more like K plus. So I know a lot of you have a K plus at home already. Uh, I think most people enjoy that. Uh, most people enjoy the uh, hand grinder. So based on that, I mean, this one should be good. All right. So I'm doing the 15 grams of uh, coffee from Hondura. I've been using it last couple of days. So I know I've been using with my EK43 uh, last couple of days. And I got, uh, I got a little bit left. So let's brew with this coffee, 15 gram. I'm using my tricklet, but I'm using the white paper. So has a large uh, hole on the bottom there, uh, increase the flow rate. I feel like to bring out the sweetness and give you a nice body to it. Uh, yeah, see, so I did a lot of hacking lately, so I mean, it's, so again, uh, works pretty good. Okay, works really good. I got my fellow kettle over there. Uh, water temp set at 96 Celsius. By the way, this grinder, you have to do RDT, okay? So that's must. Okay, you, you cannot skip RDT on this one. And uh, I like to just use uh, just a stick of, you know, just water drop. I like to do two drops, okay? I like to do two drops here. Make sure to shake it well. All right, here we go. Let's brew some coffee. All right, that's done. I mean, it is a little loud, okay? So that's the Hondura. Uh, again, grind size, I set at the 20 clicks on the Fimo book, okay? It's about 20 clicks. All right, I'm just gonna wet the paper.
again this is the like you know modify method using the triclet brewer okay I got a few things going on in this my brewing method so let me show you what I'm gonna do again the 15 gram there uh, as long as you do RDT on it you're gonna be just fine and I'm gonna be using the mellow drip Okay, so let's brew some coffee. Uh, first, I'm going to add about 45 grams of water, high up, okay, agitate. Ended up being 49. I'm going to be wait about, just a little shake there, about 35 seconds. We got about 35 seconds. And right now is a blooming phase by the way this coffee is about about 11 weeks old it's pretty old coffee so i'm really anxious to see what kind of coffee is i'm going to get out of it the second pull i'm going to go up to 125 grams of water just go nice and easy Now I'm gonna wait about another maybe 10 more seconds. I'm gonna finish it with one uh, 225. Okay. Comes to brew time. I'm looking at around two minutes. So ideally around minute and 50 seconds. So again, this is a set of uh, 20 clicks on FEMO book. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome. Okay. Welcome to live streaming. All right. So I'm looking about two minute mark there. Nice brew time. Uh, this is good. Again, so uh, make sure, uh, just give you a heads up. So this grinder has not been the seasoned, okay? Seasoned yet. So about two minutes and 20 seconds. Let's give it a try. So this is coffee I was compete with my Brewer's Cup uh, prelim uh, a couple months ago. So I know this coffee pretty well. <coughs> uh, grapefruit is a one of uh, tasting notes that the nice finish to it. Uh, the body should be about medium to light body there. And more like kind of like kind of like 2% milk. And you should have a wonderful aroma. Uh, peach is one of them. Man, after uh, 11, 12 weeks, I can still smell the peach. Man, smells pretty good. All right, guys, cheers. Man, goodness, hold on. Wow. I, I, I wish you guys are here right now. Man, because Boy. Very clean. Okay, has a nice body to it. So I eat, uh, brew exact same coffee, same uh, brewing method, uh, same water as well. Everything is all the same, same water temperature. Everything is the same except the, so this is the unseasoned uh, 68 millimeter conical burr versus i got ek43 on the back there they got 98 millimeter the ssp burrs uh the 
pre-2000, the Marconi birds. Very close. I know the EK is slightly, I, I don't know if it's better, it's different, okay? I think EK bring out more, even more sweetness, but that coffee, my brew time was about two minutes and 50 seconds, okay? So which means I got more extraction. So this is about two minutes and 20. If I'm gonna change my grinder size, man, I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait till, you know what? Before I'm gonna compare that with the EK, I'm really looking forward to compare that bird with the niche grinder, okay? The niche, the 63 millimeter conical. Boy, it's gonna be fun, okay? It's gonna be fun. So what, uh, my plan is I'm gonna have someone uh, join me on hopefully Saturday, okay? So I'm gonna be playing with a few more book next few days. I'm gonna put some coffee beans through it, a lot more, okay? A lot more to it because the niche grinder has been seasoned for years. That's ready to go. So for this one, I got some work to do because I want to, you know, season it you know, some, okay? Not, but I, I gotta you know, season some uh, coffee birds there. So uh, it's gonna be fun. I cannot wait to share that with you this weekend. Uh, but meantime, I'm gonna shout out to friends at live chat. I got Carrie's on. We got Linda, you got Murphy. Welcome back, Murphy. You got DK's on as well. Who else? You got friends from Germany too. Let's see. Guatemala, okay, morning, okay, October. Okay, so Carrie got the uh, Brent's coffee there. <clears throat> okay, uh, again, William, there's no price on that yet. Uh, I'm still waiting. <clears throat> so they did not announce the uh, uh, price yet, but. Man. Wow. I, I, I'm really impressed. Okay, I'm really, I have to say. Uh, comes to workflow wise, not perfect, okay? I'm not a big fan of RDT, uh, as you guys know. But, you know, that one step makes big difference in retention. Uh, as you saw earlier video, okay, earlier video, I did that one before, so. And then, so once I got the uh, pour over dialed in, uh, we should move on to espresso as well. Yeah. Right now, I'm at 20 clicks. Maybe like around 10 clicks should be, that's a pretty good starting point for espresso. Maybe seven or eight. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Uh, let's see. Shall we do it now? Yeah let, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section, okay? Shall we do it now? Uh, if you do, uh, give me a thumbs up, okay? So far, we got uh, 13 thumbs up right now. So if you guys wanna, yeah, how many people wants to see? We got about 24 people watching, so. Uh, if you guys want to see the espresso live demo, let me know, okay? Uh, uh, give me a, a quick thumbs up on it. Uh, <clears throat> okay, hold on, we got the Paul. Okay. We got only a couple of people wants to see it, so. In that case, maybe we should. Okay, Murphy's, I, I know Murphy wants to see it. Let's see. So right now, I'm at uh, 20 clicks. Is there any, is there only two people wants to see it? That's it. You got DK wants to see it as well. Yeah, you know, let's, yeah, let's, I mean, three is good. Okay. Yeah. My expectation pretty low. I'm glad you guys are here. You know, this is good. Okay. I know you guys are here. By the way, let's see here. Man, I don't know about you guys, but can you guys believe it? We are getting close to 100,000 subscriber, folks. Okay. All right, 100,000 subscriber. I mean, thanks to you guys. Actually, you know, I'm gonna big thanks to Shot Collar. Okay, so this is, okay, so I don't know, some of you know about the, this is Shot Collar. One of my Shot Collar video blew up last couple of months. So I'm gonna big thanks to the Shot Collar, okay, because yeah, this is a really fun tool. Some reason people love to watch this video. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna big thanks to you and big thanks to Shot Collar. All right, so let's brew some, uh, let, let's do espresso. Uh, comes to grind setting again. I mean, I have no clue. All right, I have no clue there. 
I'm, I'm just gonna use uh, uh, number 10 okay I'm gonna go number 10 clicks so whenever I go down I like to run it first I like to run a grinder a little bit there we go let's go down to 10 okay when it comes to coffee wise I do have the Brent's liquid amber okay so this is the Brent's uh, liquid amber from Good Brothers so let's do 18 gram all right so we're gonna do 18 grams of the liquid amber I have feeling this grinder size might be too closer. Number 10, I uh, will see. <coughs> the reason why uh, I like uh, using this for espresso, um, special milk based drink, very forgiving. Okay, very forgiving. You cannot screw up this uh, coffee. So, I mean, you'll see. Right. So, I'm just gonna do, again, uh, RDT is must, folks. I like to do two drops of water. Just make sure shake it well. So now, so this is done. Man, look at uh, look at the grind. Hold on. So this is a final grind. Uh, imagine without the RDT, it's gonna be really messy. So I mean, this is pretty good for. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with. Not a whole lot of retention there. I got a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, let's do some quick puck prep. You know what? Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay. Let's flip the flipper for a second. Yeah, let's just flip the camera around for a sec. Here we go. Man, I'm dropping things today. Actually, hold on a second. So this one is a 58 millimeter. So just go like this. Okay, just like so. Uh, comes to, let's do quick WDT here. Okay, just nice and quick. All right, grind size number 10, looks pretty good. I think we might get lucky, all right? We may get lucky there. I'm gonna add my puck screen on the top. Okay, here we go. So this is the kind of like the crew wannabe glass, okay? The prepare. This is I know a brain. Are you still selling this one? So brain is selling on his website. So so let's do one two maybe two ratio. Let's take a look, folks. Let's take a look at the shot quality. All right, here we go. Goodness. Let's find that. Definitely fast. Okay, that's fine. Definitely fast there. And look at the crema coming out there. Yeah. Again, I see some uh, little spread. 
a little bit of a channeling but again you have to remember that this grinder is not seasoned yet so that's why you're gonna see some little bit of spraying and most likely we need to go down even more comes to grinder size so I bet you we can do uh, right now we are at number 10 okay uh, right now we're at number 10 so maybe they got on they got 10 more steps to go so 10 so maybe like seven or seven or eight should be good I think we're gonna get the right extraction and that's just a little bit of uh, better WDT might prevent the channeling but so let's try this coffee anyway okay, let's try this, this, this coffee it's gonna be later we'll see okay uh, this liquid amber is a very forgiving coffee so here you go cheers yeah sour but uh you're gonna put some milk and sugar you should be all good okay we should be all good uh so as you saw uh it's definitely capable of doing espresso all the way up to filter coffee that's not a that's not the issue I bet uh, if I'm gonna do the uh, proper seasoning and then we're gonna fix the channeling okay because uh, with the uh, if you not season the coffee grinds a uh, coffee grinder you're gonna have a lot of there a lot of sharp edge give you a lot more fines there so anyway you know what I'm so this grinder is uh, I say a little promising okay mm -hmm. a little promising there so this weekend uh, I'm gonna let's compare that with niche grinder should be a lot of fun okay it should be 68 millimeter conical versus 63 so that's 68 is it that's that's remarkable because it's not a small burst set so 68 is really decent size see so, so now at this point as you saw so a little flaws rdt is must okay if you're not a big fan of doing rdt you better learn how to do it uh, with this grinder here uh, you need, yeah uh, must RDT is must and other than that I mean I'm a little worried about the power brake on the back but I mean just like uh, option O uh, there are uh, Lagoon mini pretty much the same same layout anyway yeah anyway uh, I hope you guys having a wonderful morning uh, I'm, uh, I, you know, let's be, let's come back later. Okay. Let's come back later. Uh, let's play with some more of this, uh, this grinder. All right, guys. See you guys next time.